Hello, my name is Nicholas. I am pursuing the field of dietetics. I am a student and I thought it would be helpful to formulate a document consisting of questions that are commonly asked. Some of my answers may not apply as universities are different, different professors, etc. When you started as a student in dietetics, did you feel welcomed under the department? I did not feel welcomed and I don't think the department was trying to be disrespectful because I was a student coming in, I had a poor educational background, so therefore sometimes we as people judge on the first impression. Sometimes the first impression is not a accurate one. Coming into dietetics, what was your vision and has it changed? My vision and my focus is on nutritional science and it has not changed. Your advisor, was he or she helpful? Did you feel devalued by your advisor? I had more than one advisor. At some point, I did feel disrespected, but understanding from both perspectives, sometimes an advisor can only do their job, even though a lot of the recommendations that were given were not helpful at all. Did you follow your advisor's direction when your schedule was concerned? How did you handle the situation? What changes did you make? Did your changes help you and why? For the advisor, sometimes they are looking at life through their time as a student. The times change and so do the people. Personally speaking, I have a life. I have more responsibilities on my shoulders than the average person. And I am faced with more challenges, so I have to adjust to meet my needs, not my advisor's needs. You are in control because guess what? You're paying them, they're not paying you. So always keep that in mind. What does the department think of your direction in dietetics? Um, I will be first to say that sports nutrition is not popular. <laughs> I kind of get this look. How are you gonna make money? You know, because everyone's gonna have diseases, Nicholas. But as a student, I have to find my place and like-minded individuals. Is dietetics dominantly male or female? Based on my observation, I would have to say female. How many credit hours should a student take coming in for the first year? I can only speak for myself. I feel a student needs to have that time to understand how a university, the life as a student, works. Personally for me, I recommend seven to eight credit hours. I understand that some students coming in cannot, you know, just go to school because some of us have to pay for our own education and that's difficult enough. Look at your life, okay, write down what you're doing. Create a schedule that is realistic. You know your life better than so and so, so keep that in mind. What should a student's priority be in the field while completing the coursework? Education. So therefore, if you have a job and completing 16 credit hours, is that really going to help you? Will you really learn your coursework? Your coursework is basically the foundation. How you treat yourself over the course of three to six years as an undergraduate student will carry off later in life. Feel challenged as a student. Do you mean mentally? <laughs> I believe you mean with my coursework. I would have to say sometimes I feel that it is redundant and not specific. Sometimes I feel that I'm going more toward physiology and chemistry for answers. What could your professors do to improve the overall learning experience? Are you satisfied? Actually, I think my professors are doing a pretty good job because they bring in a real-world situation. Their time as a registered dietitian, what they learned coming in and how things have evolved. What do you think about the textbooks? In my opinion, the textbooks do not live up to my standards. I think students really need to go out there and keep on top of the current literature, understand the basics when science is concerned. When you came into your first year, what were your thoughts on the CBD and the DPD program? 
Well, first off, the CPD is the coordinated program in dietetics, and the DPD is the didactic program in dietetics. Coming in, I had no idea what they were and really did not care because my focus was on my education and my coursework. I felt that it was too soon to even consider because I haven't even established myself. So I had to start from the ground up. If you are interested in the CPD, DPD, do you or your friends feel pressured to fit in? I did not feel pressured, however, I wouldn't say my friends, but some people that I would study with felt the need to fit an image. And I can tell you this, they kind of got into that negative lifestyle pattern. Uh, as a student, should there be focus on the CPD, DPD? Tell your thoughts honestly. I feel as a student coming in, you need to focus on what your vision was originally. Okay, Hopefully it is beneficial for you and future clients, patients you may have as a professional. So students need to really focus on their education and be an example in the industry of dietetics. Do you feel the need to fit an image? What image do you fit into? To me, if the image fits this standard, a student who is working diligently to perform well academically, if a student is playing an active role in the field of dietetics in a way that it will help not only themselves but the public, and an individual who will take the time to continue their uh, education or further their education after graduation, then to me I fit that image. Do you get along with students? Well, my main interest is education, but at the same time, I do not go out of my way to alienate anybody. The next question is, what do students think of you? Uh, from what I've heard from people I respect, some think that I am rigid, organized, structured, that I do not have enough fun. But my response to that is, well, I try to look at from both perspectives. I do not have the luxuries that he or she may have. I have to complete my own work, pay for my own education as my government and parents are not doing it for me. I want to get the best out of my education. And even if I did have the luxury, I would not take advantage of it because my vision is I want to be an example in the industry that I'm in. One cannot do that if they're doing the wrong thing, whether it be academic dishonesty, plagiarism, as that is evident based on what I've seen. What changes do you feel the future professionals need to make if they want to be taken seriously as a nutrition expert? If a nutrition expert feels that they do not have to follow the same rules as the public when their health is concerned, that will be a problem. As I stated before, as a student, if you are building a negative lifestyle pattern, for example, if you're eating whatever you want and not taking care of yourself as a student, that carries off and it's visible. You are what you eat, as I said. If you want the public to take you seriously as a professional, you have to look like a professional. Sometimes earning a degree does not mean that you are immune to responsibilities. The next question is, I go to a nutritionist, not a registered dietitian, but one time I went to a registered dietitian and she basically discredited the nutritionist. I felt that that was disrespectful. Why does the registered dietitian feel the need to discredit? Sometimes I would hope that the registered dietitian means well and they're just worried because, for example, if the nutritionist that you're going to has not earned the credentials to assist you with health and fitness needs relating to nutrition. Uh, there's confliction here. I do not want to misrepresent the facts. Some of these nutritionists at public gyms, they go way beyond their scope, which is dangerous for the person that they're trying to help and sometimes the registered dietitian is just pointing out that maybe the nutritionist you're going to does not have the proper education to assist you.
That's how I see it. Well, I answered all the questions to my best ability. I hope it was helpful. This video was very long, so thank you. My name is Nicholas, and I would like to create a video on... I can't create it. To create a document. Create a document. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Nicholas, and I would like to... I can't speak today. When you started as a student in dietetics, did you feel welcomed under the... Blah, blah, blah. Dietetics is not baking cookies in a kitchen.